Hello guys, hope you are doing okay. So today we are going to learn about how to compile and run a C++ file on your Ubuntu or Linux machine. So I have installed Ubuntu 64 bit on my VM workstation. And if you do not know how to install Ubuntu on VM workstation in Windows, you can watch my video that I link in the description and learn how to install Ubuntu on your VM workstation for Windows. Make sure to check that video out. And now let's get started. So in order to run a C++ file, you first need to create a C++ file. So in order to do that, you just open up our terminal. So we'll navigate to the directory we want our file to be in and in my case I want it to be on the desktop. So I'll just change directory, desktop, press enter. Now in order to create a C++ file you'll write the command touch, let's say code.cpp, press enter. Now as you can see a code.cpp file has been created on the desktop. Now, if you want to make this file executable, you first need to write some code in it. You can do that by either double clicking on this file and it will open in the text editor or you can also write in the terminal gedit code.cpp or whatever name that you have used for your file. Press enter and you can see the text editor has been opened. Now we will write a very simple C++ program for printing hello world. So first I will include the main library that is ISO string and using main space std and in the main function So you can also change the tab width to 4 so that you can have proper indentation. You can keep it 8 as well but I like it in 4. So now V out, hello world. Now we are done. So in order to save the file you can either click on the save button or you can also press Control S. As you can see the file has been saved now we'll just close the text editor and go back to our terminal here we have to make this file executable by first compiling this file so in order to compile this file we'll use a command that is g++ now if you do not have g++ then this command might show an error like install g++ so in order to install G++, you can use the command sudo apt install G++. But since I have already installed this, so I will not need to write this command. And I can just simply write the command G++ dash O to create the output file. And I will name the output file as let's say run and mention the file that I want to compile that is code.cpp press enter okay here we have some error let's see what's the error so we have not closed our string so let's go back to our file now we have to close the string and boom as you can see what G++ does is it compiles and checks our program for any error and then it shows us that error. That is why we need to use the G++ command in order to run the C++ file. Now let's press enter again and there is no error and as you can see a run file has been created on the desktop. It is actually the executable file that we are going to use in order to run our program. So now write dot then backslash and run that is the name of the executable file now you have to just press enter 
and you can see our program has successfully been executed. That is all for today's video and I hope that you like the video. In case of any error, write down that error in the comment box and I'll make sure to answer your queries. And if this video was helpful to you, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.